What's going on YouTube? Black Prince the Barber here. Today in this video, I will be showing you guys how I cut a mid fade. Not a mid drop fade because it's not dropped at the back, but a mid fade. So let's just get into it. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is just make sure, you know what I'm saying, you put in an even guideline all the way around the head because, you know what I'm saying, you want one side to look like the other side. You don't want to have a mismatch. But, you know what I'm saying, hair, cutting hair, you know what I'm saying, it's just a time-consuming process. So, with that being said, man, just take your time and the haircut will be clean. You feel me? Then I come in with my one and a half detachable blade. Look, I want to tell you guys something. I don't go all the way up to the parietal ridge because you're going to see what I do at the end of the haircut process with that area there at the parietal ridge area. But I go at least about two, about like two and a half inches underneath the parietal ridge because you know what I'm saying? I want to save that spot for my fading room process. So, um, yeah. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notification because you know what I'm saying, after you get, see this haircut right here, you're going to want to subscribe. So I'm just telling you right now. So let's go. Hey man, look, my mistake about my arm being in the way, I just want to let you guys know that. But as far as the blade system, I put my 1A blade on and I went with the grain. See, the only thing I'm doing is actually knocking down the corner of that one and a half. So everything just flow as one fade. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the 1A blade on. I just go all the way around the head with the grain and then I do the next process next. I usually come in with my OA for my second initial guideline, but it takes off too much at one time. But what I did, I just slapped that one blade on my Oster, uh, Octane, and you know what I'm saying, I went up an inch. The one thing about the one, you know what I'm saying, you can fall underneath the uh, fade process with the OA. It's like a reverse fade, but you know what I'm saying, you just want to start a bigger blade so you can know that you're not knocking off too much. Because he did say he wanted a little dark at the parietal ridge area. But yeah, just the way I do mine, like I see, I store my one and then I walk my blade system fade and technique down. Now, actually, this is the OA blade. I'm just actually falling underneath the one blade because I just want to store my first initial guideline and then I stored my second initial guideline, which was the one. Now, I'm on my third level of fading, which is the OA fading underneath the one. See, the only thing I'm doing right now is just walking my fade down. And uh, if I'm missing out on anything, man, let me know in the comment section because you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you guys all the gems that I possibly can. But yeah. Remember, you know what I'm saying, the way I store my hair cuts off, I always store it with the, with the fading process. Then I work on the blend. Remember I said it's something like a reverse fading process. Now I slap my 3 out blade on and remember to always use the corners. I used to use the whole blade, but you know what I'm saying? I had to teach myself how to use the corners because if you use that whole blade, man, you'll be taking out too much hair. But yeah, remember to use your corners, you know, and to brush down the hair because sometimes when you uh, brush down the hair, you can remove the hair that you're fading out, if you guys can understand what I'm saying. In other words, you know, I'm fading out that first initial guideline, then I get my brush, and then I just brush it to make sure it faded the way I want it to be faded.
All right, guys, I put my one and a half back on because you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I'm about to start the fading process real neat and genuinely. So with that being said, make sure you know what I'm saying? Always cross check your work and make sure everything is legit before you move to the next process. But yeah, I've got my one A blade on and I'm just double checking my work. In other words, cross check my work and you know what I'm saying? Just move on to the next, you know, blade. Now I'm in my blending process. I grab my 1A and now I'm just actually using the corners of the blades to, you know what I'm saying, to make sure everything is falling in place the way it needs to. Because, you know, I'm ready to go ahead and knock some guidelines out so you guys can see that fresh edge up. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, man, you know, remember to always follow your steps and remember to cross check your work and, you know, look back from the mirror and, you know, just make sure everything is just falling in place because at the end of the day, Man, this cut gonna be fresh. Now, I'm not gonna quite say I used to mess a lot of haircuts up like this, but. I used to mess a lot of haircuts up like this. I used to take my one blade and you try to use the corner and I went up too far with the fade and I knocked the fade up. But I had to teach myself to get the zero magnetic uh, guard and you know what I'm saying, use the corner over there because the uh, guards have a softer blending technique if you kind of like get my drift. But uh, remember to always use your corners, man. And I had to stop using them uh, one blades to try to make that, you know, try to knock that line out. But yeah, you see the fade coming into place and um, if you stuck around long enough, please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Now I had a one guard on and I'm barely just tipping the edge of the one and a half when I told you I was gonna uh, show you guys what I'm gonna do at the end of the haircut. I just have my one guard on halfway open or halfway closed however you want to see it but yeah i'm just knocking that parietal ridge area down where that hair want to like stick out it and make sure you don't have your don't do not have your client's hair sticking out at the end of the video because that'll make it look ugly so just take your time with your work still have my one guard on i open them up by like another notch and i start to go against the grain at the parietal ridge area because like i said i don't want to leave their hair looking all sticky and stuff and to the guys that might want to you know what i'm saying bash me in the comment section he asked for the uh parietal ridge to be a little heavier because he always did get his hair braided and everything so don't bash me man you know what i'm saying it's what the client wants so what the client wants is what the client gets Okay, as you guys can see, I'm at the end of the haircut process. Now it's time for the edge up process. Remember to always comb your client's hair like you start the haircut back over, but you know what I'm saying? You about to do the edge up. But what I do, I just comb a client's hair to make sure it's laying down real nice so I can come back and, you know, just cut them down to that one. And boom, there you go. Come on, let's just start it off from this part right here. Now I'm about to add a little hairspray, let it sit for a while, brush the hair down, and put that crispy edge up on them. So if you guys stuck around long enough, man, y'all know this is a fresh cut, man. Remember to always comment. That's why I call it comment section. You know, comment below. But yeah, let's get it. You ever heard that old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day? But I'm gonna tell you one thing. This haircut was built in 45 minutes. But you know what I'm saying, it had, I had to edit some parts out for to make it 
tired consumer for YouTube. But let's get to the edge of it. Man, look, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Start in the middle and work your way to his left shoulder. Because I be on YouTube looking at videos, they be like, work your way to the left. And I be like, hold on, my left or his left? But anyway, with that being said, start in the middle, work your way to his left shoulder, or start in the middle, work your way to his right shoulder. But remember to always remember this. Symmetrical is key to everything. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side, and the haircut will fall in place. So let's get it. No words, hands down. Let's go. Before you, before you guys even start, man, do not bash me in the comment section. Talking about, oh, Black Prince the Barber, you put too much enhancements on his edge up. Look, it's what the client wants, man. If the clients want me to put enhancements on his eyebrows, I put enhancements on his eyebrows. If you want me to put enhancements on his fingernails, I put on them fingernails. But with that being said, man, it's what the client wants at the end of the day. Because you know what I'm saying? He's spending his money, not your money. He's giving you his money. So make the services worth it. So yeah, enhancements. If it's too dark, let it be too dark. Okay. Yeah. Bars. Then I fall behind with the topic hair fiber because you know what I'm saying, an enhancement by itself, it give you a nice edge up, but I just don't like that discoloration it leave behind. And so that's why I grab the topic hair fiber and spray over the enhancements itself. All right guys, this is how my guy came in, you know what I'm saying? He didn't need it too much done, but you know what I'm saying? I had to transform everything about my guy because he said, hey, Prince, man, make me right. So, you know what I'm saying? So I had to get him in there. And this is how he ended up coming out. YouTube, you already know this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, man. You know what I'm saying? Because your boy, Black Prince, the barber, is laying them cuts down. I was saying daily, but you know what I'm saying? Anytime I get a chance to put on video, let's just put it like that. But this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And you can just hold, go ahead and hold, uh, go... Oh my God, I don't know why I'm lost to words, man. You guys can go to my TikTok at your TikTok barber one and follow me because I be putting my shorts on that. But with that being said, man, look at the edge up. So, bars. Black Prince, man. Real talk, man. Go follow my nigga, real talk.